Okay, the next step for making our cupcake is to do the plaster on the bottom to make it nice and sturdy. So that's the next part that we're gonna do. So what you'll need for that is you'll want your plate and you'll want your cupcake and you'll need a bowl. Use the bowl that I gave you and there's a reason. I'll tell you that in just a second. And you will need the plaster that I gave you. So you are going to want your water to be warm and you don't need too much of it. I'm putting just a little bit in here. It has to be warm or the plaster doesn't get activated. And I just have a little bit like up to my fingernail, that's it. Okay, so the reason you need to use this bowl is because you can put your plaster in and then drag it over the edge to wipe off the excess water. And then what you're gonna do is lay it on your cupcake base. Make sure it goes right up to the frosting. And if it's kind of getting wrinkly, you wanna straighten it out. And then you're gonna smooth it out. Okay, this is part of uh, when we talk about craftsmanship, you wanna do a good job smoothing it out so it's not rough. Then you'll take the next piece, drag it through. They don't need to overlap too much, just a little bit. Make sure it goes up to your frosting line. And you can see all those holes as soon as I smooth it over with my finger, then those holes disappear. And then I know that the plaster is evenly spread. Okay, I'm gonna turn this again. And now you should wait until your cupcake is dry before you do this. And there's my last piece for the bottom. It doesn't take long to do this because the base is pretty small. Now you can see that I still have some showing down here, so I'm gonna take a piece, and I don't need a piece that's gigantic, so you can take your scissors and you can cut the pieces and make them a little bit smaller so that they're the right size so you don't waste any. So I'm gonna drag it over the side and just place it on the bottom and then fold it up inside to that hollow area. You can see I have a little bit more to do right there, so I'm gonna drag it on the side and smooth it out, smooth it up to the inside. A little something there. Probably from where I trimmed it because I wanted it to sit straight. And almost finished. This goes pretty quickly. Now, it probably will take about 15 minutes for this plaster to dry, but, you know, so that you could move it and it wouldn't break. But uh, you should wait overnight before you paint it just to make sure it's completely dry. Okay, so that was that. Now, you see a piece right there that's not quite smoothed down. You can, this is the time when to check, check your work and make sure you did a really good job. Oh, there's the bell. Okay. And that's all you need to do for plastering the bottom of your cupcake, okay? Now, I took the cherry off the top because I knew it would fall off while I was plastering. Now, the last step for your cupcake is gonna be to paint it. So um, I used acrylic paint to paint the cupcake that is the, the sample right here. And I didn't give you colors of acrylic paint. I just gave you, I, I don't know, I can't remember what I gave you. Um, I Because I didn't know what colors you would want. I didn't know what color frosting you'd want and I didn't know what color you'd want to do at the bottom here. So you can either use the paint that you have at home, use what you have at home, unless it's watercolors. Watercolor will not work real well on this. But you can use, this is what I use, this acrylic paint that you can buy at Walmart for 50 cents. Um, and I mix the colors a little bit because this was just way too pink, so I mixed it with a little bit of white. Um, so you can either go to Walmart and get some paint that you want, use some paint you have at home, or if you can't find any paint, you can email me and let me know what colors, and I can put a little dollop in a container and put it outside for you. Then the last step, what I did was I painted this, once the paint was all dry, I painted this with white glue and then put sprinkles on top. Then the very final step will be to spray it with some kind of clear um, glaze so that it, it stays safe. So I can do that for you at school if you can't do that at home. Okay, all right, so that is our cupcake project. Can't wait to see your cupcake when you're finished with it. Either email me a picture of it or post it on Google Classroom for me to see. Bye-bye.